happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Ebert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Prunus J15, and I perform a daytime medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, and we'll start cruising the daytime band. So here it is, the Prunus J15. It's an AM FM shortwave portable radio powered by 3D cell batteries or an AC power option. So let's check it out. Left hand side, we got a three LED flashlight switch here in the front. Turns on and off. If you're stuck in the dark, it's nice to have some kind of light source. On the front of the radio, you'll notice we got a nice speaker here. Uh, good sound. And I like the slots here. Neat design. It's got this cool gunmetal silver on gray. Uh, we have a tuning LED indicator, turns green when we're in tune. Our dial is pretty clear. We got FM on top, 87 to 108, AM, 520, 1710. Shortwave, 3.2 to 10 megahertz on shortwave 1, and shortwave 2 is 10 megahertz to 22 megahertz. So pretty usable bands, like that. Down here we have the on-off switch, of course, for the light. Here we have band select switch, FM, AM, and the shortwave bands. It's pretty easy to use, liking that. On top there, we have the volume control, on off. Right inside the radio, we have an auxiliary in. That's awesome. You can plug in MP3 player, phone, whatever. Uh, I'm liking that a lot. Uh, here we have a headphone jack too. Decent sound on there. Uh, here we have our tuning wheel. Um, it's got a little knob in the middle and a big knob on the outside. It's all one molded piece. So they kind of force you to fine tune by turning it, the little wheel in the middle. It's just, it's kind of a unique way of having a slow tuning setup. <laughs> Gotta like that. Uh, we got a built-in handle. Yeah, it's always cool. Slim profile, as you notice. It's not very thick radio. Liking that. Our FM and shortwave antenna. On the back here, we got the information for the bands, 3D cell batteries, vented case. There's the AC input. It's pretty simple to open this up. Show you that I'm using 3D cell batteries. And they're the EBL 10,000 milliamp hour rechargeables. Those are great batteries, by the way. Um, pretty awesome. I'll have links below to some of these items, like the radio, maybe the batteries. Also, maybe a Turk Advantage loop that I'm going to be using uh, for this daytime scan. Typically, passive loops are great for daytime listening. Let's go ahead and snap that back in. All right, so let's do a little size comparison. Then we'll start cruising that band. All right, so what do we got laying over here? We got a CC pocket. Almost the same color. Love that. Current time is 11.09 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and we're near Chicago, Illinois, USA. And then, of course, we have CC Skywave, SSB. Does everything. The Swiss Army of radios. Swiss Army knife of radios. <laughs> Swiss Army. It's the whole army. <laughs> uh, you get the idea for size. Pretty cool. I'll use this as my frequency checker if I get lost in the band, but daytime I shouldn't. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin like no one can. He loves Prunus J15s from China Land. Iron Man. Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead, turn this on, and start cruising the band. Let's go ahead. Get this on. Here we go. Let's see, our first station will be aimed at the north or south. If you know anything about radios, most of you do, but some don't. Some are newbies. Um, there's an internal uh, antenna, ferrite antenna, that is for the medium wave or the AM band only. That back antenna is for the FM and shortwave bands. The AM band has a longer wavelength, and it requires a different antenna. So if you see me turning the radio around, I'm positioning that horizontal edge of that antenna towards the station to get better reception. That's how it works. A little primer for those who don't know. So let's spin this around and try to tune in more Jackson, Wisconsin. Okay, jumped up to 560. This happens in the evening. this 
glass ceiling once and for all. There we go. So with DSP, sometimes you gotta go back and forth to get that stationed. Let's bring a loop in. I have a Turk advantage here. You run a perpendicular to the radio. I'm gonna see if I can boost the signal. They were they were just brutal when it came to execution. So think about it. So you add you give him a. So there you go. That helped a lot. Um, so the yeah, Turk advantage, pretty cool. It's a little investment, uh, but if you're going to be a big time AM listener, it's nice to have. So that was 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. The next station is going to be 560. And they recognize that. What these people, what this person, and those who agree with this person are saying. So yeah, 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. Has in fact prevented qualified blacks and women from being pilots. Right? Conclusion to be drawn, but I don't believe that. I don't believe it for a second. There's 560 still. <laughs> the magic of DSP radios. We, we, at this point, it would appear... I think there is a spot, and you, you are from this arena, there's a spot in acting for... Acting? Yeah. Or like hosting? Acting. Acting. Like, like playing a part, like getting a script and learning lines and like acting. Like the... Like, like, like okay, this is 580 WILL, Urbana, like Illinois. It's about 150 miles away. On SVU. Playing along we'll double check. Yes, exactly. What? Come on. I don't see it. Why not? I, I feel like he's, I don't know, I try to imagine him like actually memorizing lines and like dramatically, like can you imagine Aaron Rodgers having to like cry in a, like a, like an intense emotion? So this radio during the day is latching on strong stations. This is 620 WTMJ Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As you can tell, it's going after the strong locals, pretty much. I'm not able to get the in-betweens. So let's see if we can't back it up. That, that's kind of so what you're bad. talking. It's like, Michael, did you... So that's 560. So it's jumping from 560 to 620. things, I think, you know, like Michael Strahan, like that. Like, like... Okay, well, so now you know the radio does that. Let's keep going. So, just because I marry someone. Every Wednesday, 11 o'clock. Segunda gran ventaja. Si tú no quieres desplazar, stay with us. We'll get to it after the break. You're listening to the C. Scafini Show on WTMJ. Hey John, we're here here. Okay, we're still on 620. Okay, 640 is WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, Hispanic Station. On 640. Where it's, hey, hey, the old school guys, hey, forget about... your teeth and American elbow grease. Great. Listen, I have factual numbers that show me that well, how I can actually get better. 670, the score, WSCR, Chicago. So I feel this isn't a super DXing radio, just more of a tabletop, local listener. Sounds great. Good for local sports. I'm picturing some sort of elbow grease right now. You had me with that one. Uh team that might need some more elbow grease defensively is the White Sox. They had a couple more. It's not just. Swing, bike, walk, be joyful again. To learn more, please visit amitahealth.org. So here's a 720 WGN Chicago. My Amita. At Amita Health Orthopedic Institute, we treat all bone and joint. The 750 WNDZ Portage, Indiana. Okay, 
la gente con una fe tan profunda que yo me considero un hombre fuerte, ¿no? Pero en Irak, varias veces... testimonios de fe... De... White Sox manager chiming in post game. That's all you need to do is describe that company, and that explains the greatness. Here's 780 WBBM Chicago. We just worked in, so that's. I mean, he's known as a, a run producer, but to hit the home runs like that and show what complete it is, and you know, the Hollywoodish things where he hits a, gets a grand slam for. Action Lifeline with an urgent message: A federal jury unanimously ruled that Roundup, a popular weed killer, was a substantial factor in. Here's a 20 WCPT Willow Springs, Illinois. About 40 miles away. Diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma have been awarded millions of dollars. One simple phone call is all it takes to find out if you qualify for a cash settlement. Call now for a free confidential case review. It only takes... Call for a faint station, but I probably won't get it. Happy to be with you today, 800-282-2882. That's the number to be a part of the conversation. I am Brett Witterbull on the Rush Limbaugh Show. Rush lives on. Timeless wisdom. Today is relevance. On the EIB. Remembering Rush Limbaugh. The Big 89. WLS. Tell me why Relief Factor is so successful in lowering or eliminating pain. Larry. So that was 890 WLS Chicago, as you heard. Designed to heal. That's right. Designed to heal. And I agree with Okay, this is kind of uh, coming in faint here. Let's see if I can bring the loop in. Castle Heating and Cooling 24-7 Furnace Repair. Go online at callcapitalcares.com. Hey, we get it. You don't want this should be uh, 920. You are intelligent. You make all the right decisions. Okay, it's not too bad for a $20 radio. These were actually 20 bucks recently, so when you see this video, hopefully they're right around 20 25 bucks still. Definitely worthy of the purchase at that price. Let's off the table. They've created drag the branches, float the branches, pull the branches, whatever you want to call it. So we're at here, the lodges where they use them as a food resource. Um, you know, if it was, a, if it were two or three or four trees on the lawn of my cabin along the lake. That okay, I so it jumped up to 970 to be HA, Madison, Wisconsin. There was about three stations there I missed. Uh, I'm surprised. Two relevant radio stations. 930, 950. Um, I'll show you on the radio. Skywave. So I missed those three stations. Yeah, okay, so we're not picking those up. Hmm. Current beaver damage program and whether the end day. Got it. Right? Okay. Do you That's want to correct. be in charge of that or should I? No, no, you're in charge of that. All right. So here's 1000 WMVP, Chicago, Illinois. ESPN. I mean, thank heavens he's got $70 on him. Usually he walks around here like a pauper. <laughs> he doesn't like to have cash on himself. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, I'm with you. So, yeah. And doing all the things the kids do nowadays. Just, just uh, Zell or yeah, uh, Venmo. A lot of back and forth. Did you see that? Uh, so we had 1,000 jumping around. 1030 is a strong station. I knew I could get it. Uh, it's 1030 WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. This is pretty faint. Don't know what this is. Let's see if it's 1050. Okay, get the sky wave. Okay, 
with that. That's what you done to me. It's like the end of um, Sweet Home Alabama, that movie with Reese yeah. Witherspoon. You've seen that, right, guys? So this is a uh, yeah WTSO Madison, Wisconsin, with the help of the loop. Is that true? Is that how you make it? Yeah, I looked at I looked that up once after I saw that. This is the direction it would be in. And uh, yeah, WTSO Madison, Wisconsin, 1070 uh, ESPN station has NASCAR on the weekends during the summertime. Okay, I think it was 1110 WMBI we just heard. I think I'm still hearing 1170. <laughs> it's jumping around. Yep. <laughs> Fun radio. Okay, that might be 1080. Believe it or not. Cool, picked that up. It didn't jump to 1110. That's a surprise. Um, 1080 WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. I really hope this isn't 1070 again. You saw I tuned it the right way, right? <laughs> this is a, this is just showing you what you can expect from a DSP radio. And now it jumped to 1110. Almost sure. Yeah, fun. <laughs> hey, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> the FM is not as crazy. <laughs> There were tiers put forward, Jay, and and how the various uh, gaps, so to speak, in the wall would be would be plugged in the first place that the Trump administration was going to. K eleven sixty W Y L L. Uh, hope for your life, Christian Radio, Chicago. Because Jay, the wall exists in places, or at least it previously did, where the most crossings occur. So of course you plug those first. <laughs> Awesome. The Squirrel makes an appearance. WSQR uh, 1180 uh, Sycamore, Illinois. Playing some good music today. Twelve hundred AM RT, WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. That was pretty accurate. Interesting. Let's see if this is something I can look up. 12:30, maybe. WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. Nice. Surprised to pick that up. Here's 1240 WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. Witam serdecznie, witam za wywołanej pandemią koronawirusa dość znacznie zgaszonej tradycji. Okay, I don't know if it's still jumping back and forth to 1280. Okay, not 1280, excuse me, 1240. Uh, went all the way up to 1300. This is WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. I did hear a person talking there that might have been a show 
on WBIG Aurora, Illinois on 1280. This is jumping right to 1330, skipping 1310. There is, but would we'll be making their way go. to legal checkpoints. McAllen, Texas is a major uh, checkpoint uh, along that border wall. You can go in, there's a, there's a border patrol station there. And you can so it is it. kind of fun. During the day, you can kind of go back and forth, back and forth till your station shows up. Uh, the BIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Now, this is no C Crane EP Pro, but this is not a 90 some dollar radio. So, got to expect that. All right, it's cool. Parts off of over so IBA, WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin, 1310. Just keep going. The, the building of the wall was never designed, and Trump said this. President Trump said this. 1330, WNTA, Rockford, mixing with another station from Evanston, WKTA, on 1330. It should be 1360. Kind of a quiet side, which I'm surprised. It's a pretty strong station usually, but we could bring the loop in. That's what's beautiful about having a loop. Eight zero five eight two two eight eight zero five eight for the refrigerator Freon ESC. Apparently in a thirty pound cylinder. You know exactly. They sell Freon, but there's the answer there. Cool, nice. All right, we've been doing a little clean the house this week, and it's kind of. Please come check mail. Please do not send your forgiveness. Go Alright, I think I want to jump back to 1300. Let's go back forward again. Everything will break up for the news, and Dan's got your local news, including election results coming your way and your forecast. Well, if you want some rain, you should be happy because we're going to get some here in the next couple of days. We'll tell you about that. You're listening to FM 98.9 AM 1360 WLBK to Cal. Okay. There's the caller. Tuned in nicer. That's the loop. Okay. We got some music on 1380 WBEL South Beloit, Illinois. That's coming in good. If you notice, it had like a ringtone when it was on tune. I just off tuned it and it got better. Okay, this jumped up to 1410 WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. I can recognize the woman. It's a shopping thing. They do bingo on the radio. <laughs> I want to buy a radio off the radio one day. It'd be cool. So uh, this is kind of with that understanding that you qualify for all of these items together. Okay, this should be 1430. Let's just double check. You can just direct enter it here. Love that. Easy to use buttons. All right, 14:30. So yeah, we are on W E E F, Deerfield, Illinois. Okay, it should be 14:40. W R O K, Rockford, Illinois, coming in kind of faint. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not sure if this was 1520. Might have jumped all the way up there. Let's check it out. Yep, 1520. This is uh, WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. Coming in pretty faint. Let's put a loop to it. Okay, that helped a little bit. Same station. <laughs> Coming in better. Here's fifteen ninety WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Trying to recognize when Jesus comes to us, just like those disciples on the road to Emmaus. Okay, this looks like a 1640 WSJP Sussex, Wisconsin. It's a religious station. There we go. Okay, this is the zone, I think. I wasn't catechized properly. I didn't believe in real presence. Or it's the same station. I know I tuned it. <laughs> there we go. With news and information coming to you from every direction, here's a team you can trust. It's the commentators, WVON's exclusive group of thought leaders, sharing their perspectives on everything from politics to business to community. Okay, uh, WOZN, this is uh, The Zone, um, 16, 1670, Madison, Wisconsin. Did I have it written down wrong? I've been saying it wrong all this time. <laughs> 5 Okay. But yeah, that should be 1670. Let's double check. And we're almost done. No. Interesting. What is this? Okay, I heard WBON. <laughs> Not W Z O N. Okay, so disregard sixteen ninety W B O N. It skipped W O Z N. <laughs> it's wondering why they said Chicago. Okay, so I can't get 1670. We're done. Alrighty. Yeah, fun, huh? <laughs> Trying to figure out where I'm at in the dial. Just listen to the station long enough and you'll figure it out. Um, so the Prunus J15, uh, it is a great sounding radio. Uh, it's slim design. The shortwave does work well on here. Uh, FM works well. AM is finicky. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think it's great for strong locals and strong semi-locals. Distance stations, forget it. Selectivity is not there for it. As you saw, it's bouncing all over the place. Um, so just, yeah, use it for local listening, and it'll sound wonderful. Um, the big sports stations coming in, you know, clear from Chicago, for me, is fantastic. It sounds excellent on this radio. And, of course, it's, it backs up as an emergency radio. You get your flashlight there. Kind of a cool thing to have on a flat, uh, radio. I think a flashlight's pretty important. Um, it's kind of neat. It's auxiliary. It has its own little switch. I do find that handy. 
so yeah, definitely a, a worthy radio when it's around 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, re, like I said, I posted this. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell icon because I posted the deal for this. It was around 20 bucks uh, not too long ago. It was uh, quite the deal. So uh, hopefully it's still around that same price. Um, check out the links below to, to see what it's at. Um, just a, a great radio for that money, definitely. I would recommend it for 20 bucks all day long for sure. Especially you got the AC option. You don't even need to use batteries. You can just leave it plugged in, have it as a kitchen radio or a shop radio. It's perfect for that. Alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big like if you guys did. If you like Prunus radios, again, subscribe, bell icon, get notified, don't miss out. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the Prunus J15 overall, the whole package. Not just what we just tuned today, but what you think about having all those bands, capability of the radio, looking at it for the big picture, 20 bucks. Do you think it's a deal? Let me know. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.